Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. This is a quick video to show off the latest build that I've been doing in The Sims 4. Um, it's called Contemporary Farmhouse. We're going to go in. Now, I was wanting to do a contemporary farmhouse. I really wasn't wanting to do something this large when I went into it because I had already done a couple of large builds. But when I saw this one, I really liked it. I was not able to make the roof line the way that it shows on the floor plan. But it, um, at any rate, I came up with a pretty good ass assimilation. Is that what I'm trying to say? Uh, it's similar. Um, this end of it is probably the one that's not as similar. Let's see, we're in build, so let's go. We're in the afternoon, but let's go back through the evening, night, morning, and then back in the afternoon to get a better light, because sometimes if you do that, so you can see things look a lot brighter now instead of so orangey or pinkish or whatever they were. Now, the first thing <coughs> that I'll show you, since it's right outside here, is that uh, there is a full house garden planted here with all sorts of stuff. There probably are more veggies that you can get, um, but I had my uh, my architect, my builder, in here. His name is R. Key Tech, and um, I just take him in and out. He has lots of money, and then I can test things with him right away also. So we have things in here like strawberries, and let's see, more strawberries, more strawberries. He likes strawberries. Uh, blackberries, I think I did, yeah, all those. And then what do we have here? Grapevines, mushrooms, dragon fruit, black, just your normal black bean bush. Um, you know, and a lot of things. They saw, uh, he has also stocked up the refrigerator, and I think that stuff stays. And I think when you download the house, this stuff will stay. Um, if not, then your sim that you move in, sims can al already plant their own. A lot of this is out of the debug thing, so he planted normal intergalactic growth pods, and these are all slightly different, but they just say the same thing. That one says blue ten tentaculated, what, ten tentacle, tentaculoid plant. Okay, there we go. Um, normal, what, catnip. Now, this is, this house has, let's go here to this. Oh, it's underneath my heads up display over here, and I have to very carefully, there we go. It is a residential house. The lot value in here shows 220118 but if you go to buy it, it says more. Anyway, it has five bedrooms, five baths. It's 40 by 30, and there are no special requirements. Um, but I give it the traits of a cat hangout, uh, convivial, conviv convivial um, and great soil. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good place to go ahead and... See, how do I click this again? The same thing, right up underneath there. There we go. Um... Yeah, you can't see that display, I think, but anyway, it shows up on top of that for me. Um, anyway, um, yeah, because of the great soil, I think that the uh, plants have done well. We have trees, apple, lemon, pear, cherry, plantain, which is banana, uh, grow fruit all the way across here, and these are the special tree of emotion, trees of emotions, and they give special berries. Like I said, I had Mr. Tect. Uh, stock up the refrigerator, which may or may not have the things in it. I don't know how that works. We have a three-story house here. And let's just take the, the grid off so we can look down here. The chimney is done with the special texture. It's a brick, an old brick type texture. And I tried to get the similar, it's very hard to assimilate the same kind of things, <sighs> you know, on the um, foundation and other things like that. I went with a weathered shingle look for the uh, farmhouse look. Um, we live in a farmhouse. Uh, ours has more modern siding on it than that. Uh, it's a, a faux something or other. You know, it's a metallic type siding that'll last quite a while, but it's a beautiful house. It's white with red doors and all that stuff. This one is a little bit more outside at least. It's a little bit more... Um, let's say what's it's not as lustrous looking perhaps it's like an older look to it but it has the uh, heavy eaves and has a shingled roof um, and it has vines growing up the sides and a lot of things like you know, a lot of plants on there's not because the gardens over there I didn't put like flowers and plants around here there really isn't that much room and so I settled for the vines growing around and at the back 
I have um, some hanging plants here that are kind of overflowing, but you know they just kind of add to the greenery. Um, since it's got cats, it has a cat door. This is, and again, I don't know if this sticks, but I locked um, all of the other doors, the outside doors, and all of the bathroom doors to the pets of any kind. Um, this door is a cat door only. So dogs would not be going inside, and I didn't actually see any dogs show up on the lot, but it's because I made it a cat hangout. Cats will show up all over the place. I put um, the litter pans out here along with the trash, and up here there are, let's go down one here until we can just look in at the porch here. There are things for cats. These bowls have already been filled. They should come across that way when they're downloaded. I don't know again for sure. I just, I'm not sure how those things stick. We have the full alarm system here. Comfort for cats and Sims al uh, alike. Well, they're not alike, but you know what I mean. So we'll start from upstairs. We have three large bedrooms upstairs with full baths. This bath is also shared by the game room. So this is, you know, this is a whoever stays in this room perhaps guests I don't know would want to know that that bathroom is also connected to the activity room now what I had done to start with is I had put in this kind of a floor inside all over uh, and this kind of a wall so staying with wood um, and then I decided that I did not want to go with like monotone type colors throughout the entire house this is what I began with right here and it was through the entire house. I also started with all the hanging lights, which I do frequently, and then I kind of add the lights that I want from there. Um, um, but I started then, the first thing I started decorating was this bedroom, and I found this newer bed. I have all but just a couple of the packs. I don't have the, the um, uh, you know, the Dracula ones, the vampire ones. I don't have, I don't like that kind of stuff, and I don't even though there might be some things in it that I might want for furnishings, I don't intend to buy that pack. I do intend to buy all of the other packs, and I have them all except for, I think it's the latest one about there's toddler stuff. I'm not sure how. And I think I have everything else, including the travel one, which I can't remember what it's called, but you can travel. Um, so I have a lot of stuff now to, to choose from when I build a house, and I like that. It gives me much more choice. In fact, I think these little dressers, or they're actually a nightstand, came in with one of the more recent ones. This one, once I started going in the yellows and reds and oranges, um, I got kind of hooked on it. <laughs> I don't usually use those colors a lot, and I found this picture and you know other ones that go quite nicely for maybe um, some girls to move in here, some sport-minded girls perhaps. They also have a couple of computers and the pretty yellow colors. Because of the cats uh, being welcome here, I also put a lot of cat artwork around in different places, but this, anyway, that's the, the yellow red bedroom. I think I called it the red one in the uh, description that I put on my website. Um, and I will also put the link into that to, to the description page for this with other pictures. Um, but I used the red carpeting and the red out of the cart, out of the uh, quilts and all that kind of stuff. And then I went with the yellow and reds in here and uh, just kind of dressed it up for two young ladies to enjoy. Lots of conveniences there. And then we have the, the blue suite here that also has a computer in it. Um, nice. I tried to use these these uh, tubs as much as possible. There are these two here. Um, I could not fit that one in any of the others. I wanted to make more than that, but I just didn't have room in all the all the bathrooms to do that. So you could use this as a master bath, although this is a uh, bedroom and bath, although this is not the one that I build as the master bedroom. So, you know, whatever you like, want to do for it. I use the same types of dressers, I mean uh, counters and stuff like that in there. Stuck with the same bathroom sinks all the way throughout. I mean, when you're building a big house, you should use uh, quantity discounts, right? Man, it was hard to find curtains that I wanted to use uh, that had at least similar colorings, but I gave it a try, and I th think I came up pretty well with it. Um, the upstairs comes up from the lower floor there. This hallway is connected, of course, to all the bedrooms. There's also a little seating area here for reading. 
and there are bookshelves in more than one area of the house including here this is just a pretty there's another one of these downstairs I like that little shelf I think that came in recently as did these little stools I'm not sure about that those may have come in earlier um, I just I think one of the last things I threw in here was that this looked awfully empty back here and I had tried putting plants in there didn't come up with one that I really liked and then I saw this guy and I thought he's perfect he's perfect for the coloring he just looks like he's keeping guard over all of the bedrooms and plus there's like a samurai type I don't know what you know a warrior type picture on the wall there and then we have the green room and uh, it also has um, let's see this one does not have a computer it just has um, a special dresser has the colorings some special special plants um, and then it has a nice big bathroom that again is connected to the very blue and magenta activity room it was really hard for me to come up with coloring on this one um, all of these chimneys are actually sectioned off here no they're not that one it goes all the way down to the ground that's right I was decided that that would be better the top is on here like that oh great well no that is the way it is that's that's right the coloring only goes up to there so that's okay it's a good thing because I've already uploaded this a lot <laughs> so anyway yeah that's the upstairs we have lots of games in there we have that uh, llama game we have chess uh, this is just shelving you know there's just stuff there oh and there are the slabbits there's a um, keyboard here for music there are drinks here that can be filled and refilled there are those uh, computer games the TV for watching the fireplace can be fired up and there is I believe hopefully I think I put behind the TV let's just take a look yes there is right there uh, hit escape there is a uh, fire alarm in there bookshelf over here lots so reading comfortable places to sit okay downstairs the first thing this was really hard to decide on colors because I had stuck with the upstairs as you can see this is all the wood up here but I decided oh I didn't color that one in in there did I I'm gonna do that for my own if you download the house you may want to recolor the inside of the, the closet I think I did the floor underneath all the closets up above are ah, except look at that I didn't do it in that one either and here I thought I'd been really really careful but that's okay I could replace it but I don't think I will because it's already had the last I looked like a couple hours ago I had 27 downloads already and I just put it up really you know less than 24 hours ago so I think I'll leave it alone um, and anybody that doesn't like the way those two closet areas look can fix that so I usually do that first thing I don't know how, why I did those were the first two rooms I worked on I guess okay so then again I wanted to still go with a country look a farmhouse look and yet add something just a little more lush and so these curtains are great and you, you can use you know it's two different sides and you can overlap them however you want I could have put two in here but I really like the look of the swag uh, left and the swag right on these and uh, it's like you would probably never pull them anyway and you're on kind of a rural lot and so you could kind of leave that alone and I just found decorations that had red and lots of flowers in them uh, flowers are also being grown out here too by the way I did plant well there was the catnip but there are other things too daisies I think these are all daisies and these are snapdragons but there are other flowers that you could put in I just grabbed stuff at the end to put flowers in um, mr. Tech had a good inventory full of things that he went away with for his next project as well so mm -hmm. yeah and so I tried and tried and tried at first I couldn't find the sofa that matched the love seats but then I finally found it so it has a matching set in here this little uh, shelf here sometimes I'll put lights in this um, just to you know you can put them underneath and it helps helps give some ambient shine but I finally decided not to do any wall lighting or anything right in this area but to go ahead and go with the overhead lights and I just went with white because they don't have a red one in that particular one um, but this I thought echoed the fireplace which is a more of a modern look but this one had the wood underneath showing that it is a wood fireplace it's not a gas fireplace I don't usually use this this always kind of irritates me this splash of red but you know what 
it worked for this room and for this house. I love that wall hanging too, the banner look. Um, going on to the red area out here, I won't go to the little hallway there yet. This is the guest bedroom and bath, and also an office area. This could be used for doing your book work or whatever. Um, it has also a cat poster in here and a place for reading. And then it has a nice comfortable bath. It's not a very large one. It is available also to the people in the living room. So this is a single bathroom, single sink. Just a, you know, it's there's no tub. It's just the shower. So, you know, however you want to use that, I would say that would be a guest room there or maybe a you know a grandma or grandpa room or whatever I don't know when you get the stuff in there those could be moved all right I won't go to the kitchen and dining room yet we'll hit because of the cats again we have in here a pet bed and then just plants books kind of storage area a cozy there is no door entry here except for this so this is a place to go and be a little bit quiet um, you know, it's a pet sleep station. It's not an activity station. There's a uh, seating area here. This came out of the new traveling place that has the, this is the pop-up archaeology workbench. There's nothing that can be done with it. It is not an activity bench. It's just for looks. Um, yeah, it looks great, you know, on a scene. And so I thought these little um, blueprints things would go well with that. And then I just kind of put together a couple of these coat rack things, you know, that looked nice there place to come in and put your backpack when you come home, extra books. Yeah, it's just a comfortable seating area. And that's all that. I was going to just put library in here, but there is a bookshelf here. So you could sit here and, you know, find a place to read in a little bit of a sunny area, although the porch is shaded. So that might be a little cooler in the, you know, the heat of the day. I don't know. Uh, and this, you know, nighttime seating here, just a pretty place to sit and the cats will stray out there and you can pet the animals and all that kind of stuff. Now, and this hallway is just plain hallway. Right here, it just goes to this bedroom upstairs and to the back hallway, which then goes to other places, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, I really fell in love with this. Now, first of all, the plans called for dining here, kitchen here, and this was another bedroom. That over there was garage. I decided I didn't like that. I didn't like the way it was divided, and we don't have cars anyway in Sims 4, at least not at this point, so I did not make a garage. Made the master bedroom down here. Or it could be an in-law bedroom, who knows. But I went with everything that I could find, red and white, and still tried to stay. And it's very modern, and yet it still, to me at least, has a country look. Because there's some prints in here. Uh, you know, everything is functional, at least supposed to be. We have cookbooks, we have shelves with things on them, little cat decoration. These are, you know, these could have come from your grandma, right? Your grandma, your grandpa, great grandparents, whatever. So those are kind of like an antique display. We have some keys, probably the keys to the house. We have keys to this house where we live that look like that. In fact, my son-in-law already had a key in his pocket that he's had for a very long time when we found this house and we bought it together with them. And that key unlocks one of our doors, an inside door, not an outside door. But it's, isn't that the coolest thing? It's just like we really felt like, you know, we prayed about going into this house. It's a little more than we were looking for price-wise, but it has been a, a blessing to us and we love it. We have right now 11 people living in it because my daughter, youngest daughter, and uh, my husband and I were, uh, and our youngest daughter and her husband and their seven children, <laughs> ranging down from age 13 to uh, one who's turning one at the end of this month. This is April 2018. Okay, so yeah, we have we uh, the beautiful cupboards here. This is one of the newest additions, this beautiful dishwasher here that goes really well with all the other... Um, Appliances, same with that. I, I wish they would get the colors on the ranges mixed a little better to go in with the, some of the other things, but that's close. It does a good job. It's all right. There's some black on the other things as well, so that's okay. Anyway, so it's a nice modern and yet, I think, comfortable, functional-looking kitchen. Now, there are no... You, you know, you could put an island over here and put chairs here, but that's a fairly small space. So the seating areas out there we have over here instead, a little breakfast nook, um, lunchtime place with the high stools, with the country look to the chairs, 
and you know things that are here for use there's paper plates and napkins some fruit in a bowl I'm not sure what those are supposed to be mangoes probably because of the color I don't know what I don't know what they are they're red could be pomegranates you know con condiments showing that you know everything's showing it's an eating area there there and this of course is the back door um, this room I love you know this is built this way it's not one of those that you put in I had to build it that way so and it has a special roof but that roof was terrible to try to put on um, before I put in this special rug I had everything else in here already in the reds and whites with herbs on the wall chickens we have chickens here in our firm <laughs> we don't have a full farm it's, it's just we have the buildings the outbuildings and we do not have planted fields they're all around us uh, they are still owned by the original owners and sons and you know family uh, so we kind of feel like we're enfolded by them um, the family that we bought from very nice people um, but anyway yeah we have we have a little chicken farm this is other things that kind of go with the kitchen stuff and yeah you have your coffee area coffee and tea area in here you'd have to carry your water from the kitchen of course no sink in here but I put in a formal table here and mixed the colors because that just seemed to be the way it went and this is one of the new rugs and I thought that is so perfect for a country dining room floor there's kids in this house obviously it looks gorgeous so that is that kitchen I just fell in love with it okay so back here we have um, the ex the outdoor entry which has a side door but I use the same door to go in this is cat objects toys yeah right there okay and then I really really had to search to find the things that I you know a lot of these shelves have places to put things and all of these shelves can except you have to like start with like one or the other that's already built in there that's like stored there um, but to put these things these are pet chews so that's you know food for the cats there's some pet food over here of course neither of those do anything they're just there more animal stuff here's a basketball to use since there's no basketball hoops outside I think that's probably just an old family relic <laughs> family picture that kind of stuff storage boxes um, this is the uh, you know like a coat closet here let's get up a little closer to it uh, you can put a few things on there you can put some things on the shelf but I didn't I left it alone here are your gardening tools here a few of them probably should actually put some of those outside or you know over here maybe or put a storage shed but there's just not much room okay and this is the laundry room and I love the laundry um, pack that came um, so it's yeah we I put this shelf and this shelf are very similar as to what they have on them but slightly different designs I used this this kind of beige color throughout you have your ironing board your washboard another cat toy thing broom dustpan you know this is your cleaning room your utility room washer and dryer work great I, they've been tested out here's a, a bathroom you know what a sink what do you call it sink utility sink thank you <laughs> my brain thank you for telling me that uh, just things that's a ca actually a camping bin there but it, it works for in here um, this is the cat another cat feeding station here and the cat door which I said like I said I locked these they may or may not come that way but all the exterior doors and all of the bathroom doors because I was finding the the cats everywhere I couldn't really lock them out of the kitchen they want to get up on your counters and I don't know how to train them you probably have to adopt them in order to train them um, but yeah anyway I locked them out of the bathrooms and locked them uh, from coming in any of these doors they can only come in the one pet door that's down here in this area then they will range throughout the house but you could do something about that by locking doors that actually have doors on them. these you can't so yes they will get up on the table so that's for you and your sims to figure out and this is the master uh, bedroom the last bedroom in the house and I did it all again I have that same patchwork quilt but quilt but it's in the different colors and it's on the double bed I used these crates to kind of go along with the same look that we had out there in the hall uh, rattan chairs I use those over here as well or that one one of those try to stick with the greens and the oranges so this is kind of like um, just earthy colors it's not spring not summer not fall 
earthy colors. Same here. That, that worked really well on that wall. Putting the lights in here was difficult. I went with these fixtures because it gave enough light after I took down the hanging lights. Um, but I really don't care for those lights as much. But I thought if I was going to use them in any room, this would be the one because everything in here is kind of sturdy and maybe a little larger than some of the other rooms. So you could clutter it up some more with other things, but I left it pretty simple. Stuck with the curtains here in this bathroom. Uh, these windows that are on the outside, I, they're made to show well. These small bedrooms, uh, I mean bathrooms, windows are made to show well on the outside. They don't necessarily fit too well in the bathrooms, and I used a variety of different curtains to kind of either show them off or hide them. Let's go back down here. And yeah, this, this bathroom is a double bathroom. You have a double bed here, so you have enough room for two people to, you know, come in at least wash up. Uh, shower, enclosed shower. It was very hard to find one that would go with these colors. I wanted to go with the full tile look in here, and I think I succeeded pretty well at matching this carpeting and this wallpaper. It's, it was a little bit difficult going with this color, but I was already running out of all the other colors. So there we go. Uh, stayed with the neutral in here. Stayed with, you know, it's not the same neutral color I used up here. It's a more golden color down here. So I did change that. Uh, originally, I had done actually all of the white. Um, white and or gray. So there we go. Now you have a, co a contemporary farmhouse and I will put up all the particulars about where it can be downloaded um, and the plans that I used as inspiration and I hope you enjoy it if you download it and uh, give me some feedback. Thanks. Bye for now.